Hi there. So today I'm going to show you how to create this kind of AR experience within 5 minutes by using Unity and also ECR package. Hi, I'm Purna Perera, Senior 3D Artist and AR VR Developer. I'm working on this Rend Island project at Liveroom. So let's get started. Okay, so I have imported ECR package into Unity and also at the same time I have imported AR Foundation, AR CoXR plugin and AR Kit XR plugin 4.1.7 versions from the package manager as well. So when it's come to the single object placement and also the portal scene. So firstly, we have to go inside the scenes folder. So there are two scenes that we have to consider. The first one would be the single object selection and also the next one would be AR single object. So first of all, I have to go inside the single object selection scene. So once you go there, you can see something like this. And also when, once you expand the canvas, you would see there's a panel and also there's a special object called single object selection button. From there actually you can change the sprite of this. So I go to this one and select the portal. Okay. And also at the same time you can change the name as well. So I select this one as the portal. Now everything is okay from this one. And also at the same time you just have to create the portal prefab. So we have already created the portal prefab. So I am going to explain what is the mechanism behind that portal prefab. So let's go inside the prefabs, then portal and also I am going to open the portal prefab. So as you see, there are basically two parts actually, the left sphere and also the right one. So in the initial view, we have hidden the left, left part and also when you go inside the portal, you would see that we have placed a trigger there actually. From that one, you can see this part is going to be visible once you go inside the portal. So we have handled that one from the portal player handler and also from that one you can see the whole world can be seen uh, inside this one. So once you go out from the portal, actually we have to hide this part and also then you would see only this area. To cover up all the other unnecessary parts, so we have used special shader called AR Occlusion. So from that one you can cover up all the other unnecessary objects as well so that is a mechanism that we have used so actually i'll explain how this works inside the demo so first of all we have to go to the uh, ar single object scene and also i'm going to drag and drop this portal prefab there so let me expand all these components and also at the same time i have to go to the prefab folder then portal then drag and drop this one then i'll explain how this works actually So you can see the right part of the portal is there actually at the half of the world and also this is our main camera. So we have assigned a collider there actually so that we can get the trigger and also when I hit the play then you can see the mechanism there actually. Let's say like we are standing here then you can see only the internal parts of the portal. So when you go inside that portal then it would collide with the trigger actually. So then you can see the whole world. So this is what happened actually. So from this trigger and also the collider. So that is how we always calculate these things. So let me click on the trigger as well. Then you would have a good understanding on what is the mechanism. So this is the trigger actually. You can see there. So then when you go inside the portal, you can see all the all the other objects are visible and also when you go outside of the portal, you can see the left part is hidden. And also at the same time, the middle area, the middle plane that we have used is the occlusion shader. So it covers up all the unnecessary parts as well. So all this behavior handled by this player handling script. So that is it. Uh, that's the main mechanism of the portal actually. So that's what actually the portal prefab do. So then let's move back to the single object placement of the portal. So once you go there, you can select the portal prefab here. So just drag and drop this portal prefab and also no need to insert any kind of materials. So in the initial scene, we don't need the portal to be a transparent one. So we don't need to add any kind of materials there. So let's keep it as it is. And also now everything is okay. So then what you have to do is you just have to add this scene to the build setting and also at the same time you just have to go to the scenes folder 
so there is another uh, AR single object scene and also you have to drag and drop that scene into this folder as well so now everything is okay so let's build the project and see what's the result so this is the final output of AR portal object placement at the same time you can find the ECR package from the Unity SS store included with many demo scenes like this so if you enjoyed the video give us a thumbs up and also for more interesting video click on the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon so stay tuned goodbye